It's awesome. So, um, so yeah. And then when it comes to like the writing of it, I, I really, I think that I'm, I might be a little bit unique in that sense of how I, I go about the writing. Every time I do stories of any kind at night, I sit down and I scribble in a notebook. Okay. So like, no matter how late the day ends, let's say I'm out till 1am with people doing whatever, like keeping, like if they're out to 1am, I'm out to 1am with them, no right. matter what it is. I'll spend two hours after that, like in the light of a flashlight, no matter where I am camping, like doesn't matter, wow. writing in a notebook, long sentences about the day, like in long paragraphs. And I found that in the transfer of those paragraphs to a computer come most of the writing that ends up being the final, um, the final product. So it's just my way of like getting words on the page that first night while it's still really fresh in my mind. Right. Even though it means that I'm dead when I wake up in the morning. Right. It's what I have to do. And do you feel like there's any loss of information, like inevitably, right? But is there any, do you feel like you're able to really retain sort of like all the senses and the experiences and the description of the, of the areas that you're at? Like, this is one thing I think about when I read these nonfiction accounts, like it's beautifully descriptive and it, it must be because you're really getting it on the page, like sort of right away. And yeah. like, do you feel like you're able to really transfer that impact or do you feel some is lost in translation? Well, I think that, I mean, you're never going to be able to get every single detail down. Right. Yeah. But I think that the key is, is doing it while the memory is still fresh in your mind. I def I also definitely walk around with a notebook, like everywhere I go, when I'm talking to people, I'm just record constantly writing down things okay. people are saying, things I'm noticing, but like in bullet points. So the transfer goes like bullet points to longhand notebook to computer. Nice. The computer thing I don't do necessarily even until like many weeks later when I'm back home. Okay. But it's that longhand notebook night that if I don't do it, like some nights I'll be like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I just right, can't. Dude. And yeah. How and do then you... go ahead, I sorry. regret it. No, I regret it. Like after, if I don't do it, I regret it the next day. Cause then when I'm writing down, I'm like, wait, there was that detail that I wanted to include, but it's not here anymore. Yes. And, and you realize like just how much memory, like you can't rely on your memory. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like just a frantic uh, writing down as much as possible all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Can that, can that get exhausting? For oh, you? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I will tell you though, there's nothing more exhilarating than those um, than those moments. Like the best part of this job is meeting people and, and that kind of like fresh in my mind. I just had this amazing experience with somebody and it's, or a beautiful moment like that I witnessed or something. And I just want to preserve that, preserve, fleeting, preserve yes. that fleeting moment of beauty. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly it. Writing, writing that down is like the most exhilarating part of the job and spending right. time, like the, the event. And then the writing down of the event is, I mean, right. aren't on the most fascinating thing that I get to do. And I mean, it just gives me so much energy, but it's exhausting. Yes. <laughs> like you said, I love the word preserve. That's what came to my mind. And I want to touch on this a little later, but I've even started a little bit of a journaling practice of myself just at night. And I find bro, that I'm able to remember like the days and like what happened. It sounds a little silly, but like, when I don't journal, it's like, you can, I can think back to like a week and a half ago. I'm like, what did I do then? Like, what, what was I thinking? What was I feeling and everything? And I think what's so beautiful, right. About your work. Uh, it's just that ability pre to preserve. So um, that's definitely something I take away from your work, but I don't know if I could do what you do. <laughs> no, but that's awesome that you're doing the journaling because I mean, it's crazy. I don't, so I don't keep a journal. A lot of people will ask me, they're like, do you keep a journal every day to like write down everything that happens? And I don't because you already do enough of it, brother. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like it's, it's like a weird, I don't know. I feel like if I'm forcing myself to do it, like in that sense, it doesn't really work. But if I'm like ha having these moments that I want to preserve, like then it's, it just comes naturally to me. But um, what was I going to say with the, with the journaling? Um, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, you want to, you want to preserve. Oh, this is what I was going to say is that with um like I don't keep a journal. So my days kind of blend together in normal life. But when I go on these trips, I have all these notebooks like in, you know, on my shelf behind me where I can flip back to like, you know, March 12th, 2020, right before the pandemic hit, I was on a, a beach with a shepherd in Patagonia in Argentina. And I'm like, <laughs> I remember like every single day of those trips, what I did and the memory is just so much more vivid because I wrote it down. Yeah. So it just makes you think like, so there's so much beauty in this world how much like is lost just every moment yes. like that you don't write stuff down.
and and you know it's inevitable but it's you know it can make someone like me a little bit sad sometimes <laughs> Hey man, I, first of all, I love that line, right? There's so much beauty in the world that you can lose, right? Like we just, we're, we're always in our head, just going from here to here, here to here to here to here to here. And then you forget, like, man, like what made me smile today? Like what happened today? What was tough today? Um, but exactly. bro, I-